Hello, my name is Nina and I'm a developer advocate at Unleash. I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to implement feature flags using Python with Unleash. So we're going to use the Flask Surveys container and it's going to allow us to implement the feature flag solution. And we'll roll out a feature that's going to allow us to delete surveys that users create. And by the end of this tutorial, um, we'll be able to turn on the feature flag and activate a route, and that's going to remove surveys from the database. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is use git to clone the Unleash repository, and we'll use Docker to run it. First thing we'll do is open up a terminal window and run a command. I've already cloned um, the Unleash repo, so I'm going to go into that right now. Oh, it might be in the wrong directory. There we go, cd unleash. And from here, we'll run docker compose up dash d. I'm going to let that container get started, the database. Now that that's running, I'm going to go to the browser and to localhost 4242, and we'll be able to log in using. Um, admin for the username and unleash for all and that is the number four and now we're in the next step is to create a feature flag so we'll go to new feature toggle and we're going to name this flag delete survey flag I'm going to type that in this is going to be a release toggle, so don't need to change anything here, and we'll keep the project as default. And then we'll create the feature toggle. And now we have the active feature flag called delete survey flag, and that's ready to be used. We can enable this in our development environment, and this will make it accessible for use in the Python app. And then we'll clone it um, into uh, our local environment. Next thing we're going to do is create an API token, and we can authenticate our calls made to Unleash servers uh, from our project. So we go to Settings and API Access. Then we'll create a new API token. And I'm going to name this Flask app and keep this as a server-side SDK um, API token, create token and we've got the token right here. We'll use this a little bit later for when we dive into the Flask Container Surveys app and hook it up to Unleash. I already have the Flask Surveys Container app installed, but you would use a git clone command, and you can find that in our tutorial docs, um, but it would look just like this, git clone Flask Surveys Container app, and now we can go into our code. I already have it pulled up. And we'll need to create a .m file. By the way, you can follow all of this by reading through the tutorial docs if you want to copy and paste the code to make it easier instead of writing all of it by hand, which could be a little uh, costly time-wise. But we've got everything in our docs ready for you to get up and running using this. Okay, so this is the piece of code that you will have in your .m file. Um, this is a typical Flask and database things that you'll need to get set up. Okay, so we've got the .m file, and that's good to go. Next, we'll need to install the Python SDK. So you can open up the requirements.txt file, which I have right here, and that's inside the source folder, the source directory, and you'll reference the Python SDK installation. And that this is what it looks like. I'll add this to the bottom. Unleash client and setting that to a version 5.11.1. Um, by the time this video is out, it might there might be some more upgraded versions, but I think this is a safe one to uh, go with this particular version. And next, let's import Unleash client into our initialize file. I think that'll be in source, backend, there we go. And we're going to use this import statement to start using Unleash Client. So somewhere around here, I think we can 
from unleash client import unleash client. But okay, we'll stay in this file. We've just imported unleash client and we are going to call the unleash client to be initialized for when the app runs. And we'll use this code snippet maybe somewhere in the create app. Okay, there we go. So it's automatically formatting it. Cool. Client equals unleash client. We've got the URL, the app name, custom headers, and initializing the client right here. This is the area where we'll need the API token so we can authorize the calls that are being made. And we've got our Flask app token, copy token, and paste in here. And let's build it and try to get this um, running locally. Okay, cd into Flask container server app and docker compose up dash dash build. So I just closed the dev container and then I re-added unleash client to requirements and now I'm running docker compose up build. Let's actually go to the local host. Um, I think it is 50505. Okay, it's running, we're good. And now we can see the um, surveys page. So this is what the app looks like. And um, maybe there's like a baseline um, automatic topic uh, with an answer count here. Um, but this is what the app looks like. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You can create a new survey here. I'm gonna come up with something, I don't know, favorite laptop brands. I have something similar to that written in the tutorial docs. What is your favorite, for the question, what is your favorite laptop brand? And with each new line, that'll be considered an option. So I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I have not seen a Lenovo laptop in ages. I used to have an HP back in fifth grade. Um, Apple. How about multiple answers allowed? Let's go with that and submit. And of course, I'm going to say Apple. I'm a huge fan. Submit. Cool. So the survey was created and you can see the results here. And we'll go back to the surveys at main page and that information has been stored. So the big thing here with this tutorial is that in a real world use case, uh, you want to be able to roll out new features to users um, and something useful here could be a delete button giving users the ability to delete a survey once they've created it. In order to do that here and hide that behind a feature flag um, we'll need to create a new route in our app. We're gonna have to create a method that will delete a survey uh, based on survey, survey ID and then we'll need to create a delete button and connect that method to the delete button that will pop up here on the surveys page. So to get that started, we're gonna to go to routes.py. I already have it here, cool. And we'll need to import error handling. So we'll use abort, which is something that you can look up if you would like to. Um, but this is going to allow us to handle any errors that could pop up with trying to, like a simple 404 page, to stop a user from being able to delete a survey when the flag is off, right? So I will add abort. And now we're going to add client to the backend import statement from backend import database and client. And that is coming from where we are calling the unleash client. So we've imported the initialized unleash client into routes.py and we can use that data to pass into the surveys list page method right here. And this will allow us to check um, the status of the enabled flag. 
and we'll be able to conditionally render the delete button on the surveys page. So I'm going to do that right here at the return statement on line 17, render template. We have our surveys list template, which um, allows us to see the page that we have in the browser. And it passes in the surveys data, the list of surveys. And we're also going to pass in the client from Unleash. And in this same file, we will create a new route and a delete method um, with this code snippet that I'm taking. I'm going to go down to the bottom of this file and paste this in. Wonder if we'll have any weird formatting issues. I know we don't. Awesome. Okay, so this is our delete route. And here's our method, delete survey. So now that we've got our route, we've got our delete method set up, we want to connect this to the actual page we see in the browser with our list of surveys. We'll need to create a delete button um, inside of that HTML file. Um, this should be a surveys list. Let's see. This looks about right. And I'll copy and paste this code, um, which will be injected into the survey table underneath um, survey page button. And we'll add. So if the flag is enabled, the delete survey flag, we will show the delete button. And if it's not, we won't see it at all. Okay, I just did a quick check and I realized I made a mistake here in our init file. So creating the client talking to Unleash, initializing it needs to happen outside of the create app um, method. So make sure that is on the lines right underneath um, db migrate csrf and when I built it again, I saw what I expected to see, which is good, and that is the delete button that's popping up for each topic listed, each survey that's listed. Now we can verify actually that um, our flag, when we turn it off, that we'll be able to, um, that the app will update and the delete button will disappear. I'm gonna go back to the feature toggle, if I can find it. Cool. And I'm going to disable the flag in the development environment. And now it's gone. So we did it. We verified that the toggle worked. When it's enabled, we see the delete button. And when it's disabled, it's gone. And that is an example of how to roll out um, a feature over time you want to provide new features to users and in the case that you want to actually get rid of some uh, pre-existing features and roll that out over time. And that is it. We were able to set up Unleash and connect the Python SDK into our Flask Surveys container app. Um, we created a feature flag here and then we were able to um, toggle a delete button, button and a method that's attached to it. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Like I said, my name is Nana, Dev Advocate at Unleash, and um, see you guys next time.